Hello, everybody. Life is very consistently nice and sweet. There are, of course, exceptions, and to every life, a little shit may fall. But overall, I meet people doing good things. I meet interesting people that come across interesting experiences and have interesting experiences all the time. I just want to give a shout out to two really amazing, amazing people that I met today. Uh, I don't hold of names. I don't think names are... I'm against names. Uh, so I, I hardly ask people their names, but... And when I do ask, I don't have a place even to write it down. I don't carry a phone with me. Um, but I don't pay attention. I believe... I apologize, guys, if I got it wrong. I believe Sylvan and LT. Is that right? Um, Sylvan I met in the Metropolitan Museum. And uh, this is a guy... It's very... You know, like, I'm very, very, very interested in, uh, in humans in general, including humans that lived in different time periods. Seeing how they lived, they were not very different from us. Humans really were not very different from us, even in the Paleolithic era. But certainly not 2,000, 3,000 years ago. They just happened to not have certain technologies that we have. Uh, we are not very far advanced. Certainly when it comes to, to philosophizing or to understanding how to live life among human beings or how to be happy or fulfilled or any of these things, uh, the ancients have a lot of wisdom to it. And getting in touch with how they lived, like, you know, reading their actual stuff, uh, you get insights from fellow human beings that you're actually, like, communicating with. And so few people realize this. But I was in the um, Sumerian section. This is more or less the uh, earliest part of recorded human history in, uh, in the Metropolitan Museum of Art and in history. And uh, my own field happens to be the field, at least, that I would say that I know enough about that it would be fair to consider me an expert would be a matter is Jewish related. And of course, that branches out beyond that. And there's unrelated fields that I'm interested in, of course, too. But um, when it comes to the Jewish stuff, even like really basic Jewish stuff, I have found very, very, very few people know, including Jewish people. Um, this was this is not Sylvan's field. And uh, yet, he I did not have to give him a lot of background. I did not have to give him a lot of information. And he had an understanding of history that it's very rare, very, very rare that I have this, this that I connect with someone who has this uh, level of appreciation for uh, different human communities, including those that lived in earlier times, and he knows such a tremendous amount. Again, if in my field I didn't have to school him, um, certainly in areas that I don't know very much about, it must be, and this is not his field for the record, which is probably a good thing, because when people do it professionally, it loses a bit, you know? Um, really, really an amazing guy from Austin, Texas, out here visiting, and uh, really glad I made that connection. Uh, then I went to the train, the sixth train, to go down from the Metropolitan Museum of Art, which is on 83rd, to go down to uh, Union Square, and from a, the, the air, it was packed. This is a Saturday, and uh, the station was packed. And across the way, across you know, people going the other way, there was a woman. There was a woman who who shrieked. She shrieked, "Please, I need a miracle! Someone, please help me!" Shrieked. Shrieked. This is at the subway station, and people could commit suicide. She sounded like she might commit suicide. Anyway, um, to get into my side of the subway, and I mean, I don't, you know, it'll sound like I'm blaming people for saying that, like, nobody did anything, but I'm not, I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm pointing out someone who did something, because, like, even though people care, New Yorkers care, New Yorkers are really good people, we have a different culture. Uh, I say we, even though I'm not 100% New Yorker, because uh, I, I've lived here in New York at various times. Um, plus, you know, uh, coming from a Jewish Orthodox culture, uh, which is even more like straight to the point and gruff, and you know, and also in general, you find with with immigrant people, they don't really have time for the various niceties, the politenesses, the political correctness, and whatever. Um, but New Yorkers are really, 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 really nice people. Um, but on my side, like people were were quiet, they were somber, they weren't mocking her, uh, and they were videoing it, which is what I guess these days people think they're supposed to do. Um, you know, in case it turns, you throw someone in the subway or whatever, but no one wants to get involved, and I get it, I get it. You know, uh, I myself have uh, damn good reason. It came to mind very quickly. Very good reason not to get involved. Um, you know, things... Uh, yeah, you got to be careful. I'm not saying that you should be careful necessarily. I wasn't careful. But, you know, be as careful as makes sense to you. Um, this woman was shrieking. And uh, so I ran upstairs and I, I actually swiped the card for the, for the way down going there. Um, it's sorry, I'm just pausing a little bit because, you know, re reenacting in my head that scene, it was very, very dreadful. But here's the good part. So this girl, or woman, or dude, <laughs> whatever, um, this girl uh, named, I think, uh, LT is what she goes by, uh, she came over right up behind me, and uh, she had the look of a police officer. Like, like she doesn't take shit, right? 
a very serious look. Um, but she wasn't a police officer. She came over to see... She didn't know that I had gone over earlier. She also had, had seen, heard her scream and, and came over across to the other side. Um, probably I ran past her, is my guess, <laughs> that I didn't notice, I, I, you know. Um, and uh, for a woman to get involved, it's even more, you know, ballsy, shall we say. I mean, it was a woman who was screaming, but still, nonetheless, uh, it's, it's, it's even less common. And it uh, turns out she is a public defender. A public defender. There was a time, once upon a time, where if you couldn't get a job as a lawyer that pays good money, you would end up as a public defender. That's not the case these days, at least not in New York. In New York, public defenders are usually people who, they are going into it to try to do some good. Yes, you know, as she pointed out, eventually, you know, you're part of the system, and you're buddy-buddy with the lawyers on the, on, the, on the opposite side, you know, and you're contributing to it. But uh, an individual public defender can't do anything about it except to try to be the best, you know, um, person fighting for justice on, you know, individually. But uh, what people don't, might not know is the American legal system is really, really fucked up. Trust me, if you live in America or don't live in America, either way, you should really, really, really fucking care. I believe something like one out of every three men in America get arrested at least once in their life. Something like one out of every 80 men in America are in prison right or jail or prison right now as we speak. So um, a lot of people, and yeah, women as well, obviously, just you know, numbers are higher for men, giving you the percentages. Uh, it's, it's a very, very not good, very, very, you know... Um, butter knife system in terms of how it cuts its justice uh but she's one of the good guys she's one of the good guys and and i know that for a fact by the fact that she came over to again nobody was getting involved this wasn't a question of a woman quiet quietly sobbing this was an issue of a woman who most likely was having some mental episode um she claimed that she had been attacked the woman who, who was shouting and uh and i don't I, nothing wrong with anybody not going over i am a weird person i talk to strangers all the fucking time Right? I might have talked to her anyway, this woman, even if she wasn't shouting. But I have a different perspective, you know, and, and, uh, and LT is not like me in this respect. She's more guarded. She deals with a lot of difficult, a lot of shit in the world on a, very, on a daily basis for her job, doing the good she does. And, uh, and yet she came over. And then there was another girl over there, a woman named Mary, who um, got involved as well. Very, very, very sweet girl. And, uh, LT, if you, if you remember the name that I gave you for my YouTube and looked it up, really, I'm impressed. I'm saying it's, you know, I've, I'm very, very commonly in situations like this. And I usually do get other people involved, right? Like I did today, trying to get people, to, trying to find someone who would have water, whatever. I'm not shy. But I didn't get you involved. You did that on your own. And in that situation, I know I was there. And I saw the many, many, many people on her side, on the other side, who were not doing anything to help, who wish they could mostly. <laughs> but it's a scary situation and you weren't scared. Uh, and Sylvan, you should, if that's your name, if I, again, with both cases, but uh, Sylvan, I think that's your name. Um, yeah, you have it right. I mean, you have access just through your heart's knowledge, through your ability to relate to people. You understand in a non, I don't want to say non-autistic because that's not the right word really, but uh, in a living, breathing, human way, you'd be able to relate to those people. That's why you wondered if Darius or Ashur Nazarpal uh, came back in a uh, in a time machine, what that would be like if they saw you taking selfies with this palace. And that's an amazing, amazing thing. Most people don't like history because they think it's just like numbers, dates, and places and shit. It's not. It's the story of humanity, of different worlds that were before us. Worlds that were before us, and you get it. Um, I hope you have success letting a lot of other people know about it too. Smart guy, good guy. I mean, like, anyway, so today was a very blessed day. I love you too.